All right, let's get to it, Rob. Um, you brought this up with, I think it was Rod. I, I'm not sure, if it, but one of our guests, I think it was Rod Woodson. Um, Devontae Adams. And Rob, he got the bag. What did he get, Rob? G, $120 million, Something like that. And he deserves the, every uh, nickel Bay of Packers. it. Absolutely. From the, Absolutely. Yeah. One of the best receivers in the league. But Rob, and let's start here. Clearly. 141 was what his number 141 was. Yep. Million. Clearly, the Green Bay Packers missing. They clearly missed Devontae Adams, Rob. Um, and I look, I knew it was going to take some time for Rodgers to adjust with these young receivers. And I do think they're going to get continue to get better and improve. But I don't know if um, it's going to get to the point where they can reach, reach the Super Bowl. We'll see. I mean, it's early. But... Um, he don't have, he don't have another Devonte Adams. I tell you that. And Devonte Adams does not have an Aaron Rodgers. Rob, here, here is his numbers. Now the first weekend, everybody was raving. They lost to the Chargers, but he put up big but numbers. He had Ten catches. Now he had seventeen targets that game. Ten catches. Next game against Arizona, only catches two balls. For 12 and yards? Was it two for 12? 12 yards. Two balls for 12 yards. And then this Sunday, he catches five balls. Now, he had 10 targets, but only caught five of them. And he gained 36 yards. Now, he has had a touchdown in each game, so he's got three touchdowns. But, Rob, I'm going to submit this to you. I think Devontae Adams is a case in point of the grass is not always greener on the other side of the fence. And some people might say, get the bag, get the bag. I get that. Because, Rob, let's face it, with wide receivers, they don't get judged by Super Bowl. No. The way a quarterback does, right? So whether he if he if he never wins one, I know he wants to win one, but if he doesn't. But it's, it's not held you know, against him. Right. It's not, not going to be held against him at all. But the bag could have been gotten in, in Green Bay. They offered him a little more money. And I, Rob, I know he's great friends with Derek Carr, but college, Rob Woodson said it was 10 years ago or however long. Chris, it was they ago haven't won. They, they haven't won. You know what the last time Devontae Adams and Derek Carr won a game together? Oh, gosh. But in college. You ready? What, what, year? 20, what year? 2013 against Utah. When Fresno <laughs> State, that's the last time. Rob G, did you hear that? 2013, wow. almost 10 years ago, the last time they right. were, I know they're 0-4 in that stint, but that's the last time they won a game No, together. Rob, I, I'm sorry. I It ain't the same, and you weren't facing the same competition either. You were playing at Fresno State. Right. All right. So, I, I yeah, I think he's a case in point, Rob. Poster child. At least so far that the grass isn't always greener. I'll tell you this, Chris. It's bigger than that. And I know it's only three games. Uh, I know people don't want to believe that the Raiders, they got a lot of talent on that team that they uh, won't make the playoffs or they're out of the mix. Only six teams have made the playoffs after starting out 0-3. Yeah. It doesn't happen that often. Ever? Ever. Wow. Rob G, did you know that wow. number? Did you see that? Look at Rob I G. I wish I hadn't heard that I number, I know. Rob. I'm sorry, but only six Where, teams. Where did you get that from, That was Rob? from Dan Patrick. Check that. Dan Patrick. Okay. If you listen to it the wasn't station, on one of these, one of these bogus. No, no, no. Uh, this was Dan Patrick. Twitter, Twitter account. No, this was Dan Patrick. <laughs> so if Dan Patrick's wrong, then I'll be wrong. Okay, all right, but but all I right. but I was gonna say, I I think it's bigger. I think that he was Chris en route to being a Hall of Fame wide Absolutely. receiver. He ain't Absolutely. there yet, and and that's the yeah, scary part. Is. You're right. Is you know like if he goes to the Raiders and and they become. They don't win, and you know, and and you know, his numbers aren't exactly like where they were. It could affect him. I'm not. I'm not here to say he can't make it or it's all over. But it he ain't a shoe in. There's guys who will, could be a shoe in, Chris, and you go and just get paid and be like, I'm gonna get in regardless. I don't think he's a shoe. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. He's still young, and I know. Look, he's made five Pro Bowls, which. His credentials would be up there with some guys that have already made it. Um, 
but you know, it's not just going to be about numbers because nowadays guys put up more numbers. You know, right? Because they than exactly because right. they throw the ball all the time. We just talked about it. Uh, Josh Allen threw it how many? Chris sixty three sixty three <laughs> times. Can you imagine that? No, but he's made five Pro Bowls, Rob, and two All Pro. But I, I'm with you. I don't think his Hall of Fame credentials are solidified yet. I, can and you you're honestly right. say he's he... in now if they, if he never played? No, I couldn't I, no, say that. No, no. No, not not I, I do not believe that. Um and Rob, like it's we know it's early. It's three games. But would he be a pro bowler this year? Right now? Not right now. I mean, probably not. Not not you don't with, have to go through all the names. Not with forty not, not with forty eight yards in the last two games. Right. Right. There you go. And so, I mean, it's not out of the – we've seen guys fade, whether for whatever – whether a running back, a receiver. You know, if you don't have that great quarterback – and Rob Woodson said it, Rob. Look, Derek Carr is a good quarterback. I don't think the Raiders are a bad team. I know they're 0-3. Um, but they've got talent. They've been in these games. Some were winnable, and they just couldn't pull them out. But the bottom line is you got to win. And if they're not winning games at a high clip, and he's not getting the ball from Derek Carr at a high clip. And, Rob, here's the thing. He's not I, – I said it. 17 targets his first game, he catches 10 of them. Seven targets his second game, he catches two of them. Right. Five targets his third game, Ten, he catches five. That's not a uh, – yeah, I'm sorry. Ten targets, he catches five of them. That's not a great percentage at all. And you you you've got to catch more balls than that. And so uh this is not, you know, worked out to this point. I'll give you Rob, he's catching 50% of his targets. And I know that's I, the lowest ever in his career. Right. And and, and the I, last one, one, two, three, four, five, six years, he's been way over 60%. I'm sure I'm sure he's a little frustrated, especially the last two games, which have really been bad. Right. Uh, and I know they have weapons, but you just say to yourself, you didn't you didn't give that guy 141 million and brought him over f- not to utilize him. The last two games are ridiculous, and they've tried. Look, he's had 17 targets in the last two games, only That's seven catches. Yeah. So I look, you were with Aaron Rodgers, right? You know how many receivers would love to be with an elite quarterback. We talked about it. Guys not wanting to play rightly or wrongly. To this point, they haven't wanted to play with Lamar. Right. Because he doesn't sling it like Aaron or or Tom Brady at his best or Josh Allen or Mahomes. You know what I mean? Like, you die to play with some of those guys because you know you're going to put up huge numbers, you're going to get the bag, and you, you can be a Hall of Famer. You got a chance. You got a chance to be an immortal, Rob. And Devontae Adams may. Now, we 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 clarify this, qualify this with it's early. We get it. But he may have made a mistake, Rob. He could have. I mean, it's like, again, it's early. It's hard to just ignore Chris. You know what I mean? We can't ignore it, especially with the 0-3 start. Right. Because pretty soon you could be playing meaningless games. That's the other right. thing. And then if you put up the numbers in meaningless games, if – it's not going to mean as much. That's the other part. So, so uh, it could be, um, it could be an ugly ride there. And I, and I know nobody thought it would be. No, people were thinking Rob G was buying his playoff ticket. Rob G <laughs> has a what's your Devonte? Silly, what a silly man he was. He had a Devonte uh, Adams jersey on in Hawaii. You know that's why the, his back's not his back's not tan, <laughs> right? <laughs>